Today we are talking about the algebra of matrices and then we're going to talk a little bit about determinants. So, um, what is a matrix? A matrix is simply an array of items arranged in rows and columns. And so, um, that order is important. Row by column is how we talk about the size of a matrix. So, before we get into some of the stuff that's on our sheet, I am going to just talk about this um, matrix R that I wrote right here. Okay, so R um, is a matrix. It's um, some elements that are in that matrix. That's what these little items are. Those are called the elements of the matrix, and they are in a very specific position. So I like to think of it like if you're flying on a plane and you have a seat number and it's in row 21, seat B or something like that. You know, you're looking what row am I in, what seat am I in, it's just like that. So each of these elements is assigned a specific place. And so um, we would refer to the element that is in this position as in row one. So these are the rows. This is row one. And this is row two. And this is column one, column two, and column three. So this matrix R has two rows and one, two, three columns. So the size of matrix R is two by three. It's always row by column. So order matters, row first and then column. Okay, so um, the element, the number that appears in this position is in row one, column one. The element that appears in this position way over here is in, still in row one, but it's one, two, row, column three. So it has the, uh, the identification as one, three. That's its kind of address, so to speak. This um, element in row two, column two, would be right here, R22. So, um, I have all of these matrix up here for us to look at. So let's discuss um, the size. Let's go through and say, what is the size of each of these matrices? Because it's always the number of rows by the number of columns. So, right here, if we had to call out the size, matrix A has one, two rows by one, two columns. A is a two by two matrix. B is a two by three two rows by three columns. Matrix C is one, two, three rows by two columns, three by two. Matrix D is three by three. Um, F is three by one. E is also three by one. And G is two by three. Two by three. That's the size of each of these matrices. Okay, so just to, to what if let's look at matrix D for instance. Let's see what element would be in the position row two, column three. What is in the position two, three? Well, that would be row two, column one, two, three. So that's equal to four. That's how you can identify an element. I think I'm about to sneeze. So if I do, I am going to sneeze. Okay, excuse me. Okay, um, what if we needed to talk about element um, row three, column one? Row three, column one. Then you go down one, two, three, column one, and that would be equal to negative one. So that's how you can talk about specific elements and what those positions mean. Okay, that's the size of these matrices, great. Here, now we're about to add matrices together. This is really important. You may only add matrices. Matrices can only be added together if they are exactly the same size. So, for instance, can I add matrix A and matrix B together? No, because this is two by two and this is two by three. Can I add matrix B and matrix C together? No, because although they have the same numbers involved, they're not in the same order and these are different sizes, so no. Um, can I add F and E together? Yes, I can. Uh, could I add B and G together? Yes, I can. So those are the ones that can be added or subtracted um, from each other. Now, here is something else. Um, matrices represent vectors in space, um, but we don't really get into all of that. But you need to know that um, 
they're dimensionals. They're like two by three that they have dimensions to them. Okay, a uh, scalar is a number that does not have uh, anything extra. A scalar just means an amount. If you've taken trigonometry, you talked a little bit about vectors. And so, um, a vector has two things associated with it. It has a magnitude and a direction. A scalar has just got a magnitude. It just has a number. So, that's what a scalar is. It just has, it's just an amount, no direction associated with it. So, if you take a matrix, let me, here's matrix R again, and let me say I'm going to multiply it by a scalar, which I'm just going to call C. This is a number, this is a matrix. So, C times R, and remember, let's see, R is still going to be R11, right? R12, R13, R21, R22, R23. If I multiply it by the scalar C, what happens is that that number just gets multiplied to every element in there. And, and it's kind of sloppy to see, it doesn't change the size of matrix R. Matrix R is, was two by three, and after I multiply it by a scalar, a number, it's still two by three. It doesn't change the size. So that's important to note. Now we're just gonna go ahead and add and subtract some matrices together. Now, if it's not possible, because the sizes are not the same and we're not allowed to, just write down, not possible. Don't leave it blank because then I will think that you just didn't know what to do. So if something's not possible, you should write down not possible. Okay, so let us go ahead and see what we can do with these guys. E plus F, I'm looking at E, it is three by one. I'm looking at F, it is three by one. Those are the same size, I can add these together. So it goes like this, E, five, one, negative one, plus F, 11, negative six, four, and when I add these together, you just write, you just add the elements that are in the same positions together. Five plus 11 is 16. One plus negative six is negative five. Negative one plus four is three. And this is what E plus F is. And you'll notice that E plus F is the same size. It's a three by one, three by one. The result was three by one. Okay, that's the answer to one. C plus F. C is three by two. F is three by one. Oh, not possible. Not the same size. All right. Four times C. This is the scalar four times C. So I, I don't want to have to copy this all down, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it because I think you're going to see how this happens. The answer to this is, let's see, C is uh, a three by two. So I'm just planning for this space, three by two. So four times six is 24. Four times five is 20. Four times negative one. 16, zero, 28. You just go in and multiply four by each little element in there. Okay, let me see if I would agree. Four, 20, negative four, 16, zero, 20. Okay, good. B minus G. Okay, B is a two by three. Oh, G is a two by three. I can subtract these. So I'll write this out just to make sure. One, five, six, negative two, one, four. Minus two, negative three, one, eight, nine, negative four. So, what you do is you take one minus two, negative one. Six minus one, five. One minus nine, negative eight. So you are, again, common position in each element, you're subtracting them. So it's gonna be five minus a negative three is an eight. Negative two minus eight is negative 10. Four minus negative four is really four plus four or eight. So that's the result for number four. Let's look at five. Three times B minus G. So what we're doing is we're multiplying the scalar three times B, which is a two by three. And then we wanna subtract it to G, which is a two by three. So yeah, we can do that because those are same sizes. So three times B, what is that gonna be? That's gonna be three times one, three times six, three times one, three times five, three times two, three times four, okay, minus uh, two, negative three, one, eight, nine, negative four. All right, uh, let me make sure I'm happy with this. Three B, three, 18, three, 15, negative six, 12, okay. 
Uh, 2, 1, 9, 3, 8, negative 4. Okay, so 3 minus 2 is a 1. 18 minus 1 is 17. 3 minus 9 is negative 6. 15 minus negative 3 is 15. Plus 3 is an 18. Negative 6 plus, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Negative 6 minus 8 is a negative 14. 12 minus a negative 4 is 12 plus 4 or 16. So this is the result of that one. Okay, that is addition and subtraction of matrices and scalar multiplication. The next thing we're going to look at is multiplication of matrices, a matrix times a matrix. Now, this is different. What matrices can be multiplied together? Matrices whose inner, inner dimensions match. So, this is what I mean by that. Suppose that we have a matrix like this. Suppose that we have some matrix here. Let's call it um, C. Or I'll call it X because we are x okay and let's say x is what size is x x is going to be um, a 2 by 3 and we want to multiply it by y so we're at they're asking us to multiply x times y like that sometimes they might put a dot in there that means x times y um, and y is um, a 3 by 1 these can be multiplied this is 2 by 3, 3 by 1. These are the inner dimensions. As long as these numbers are the same, then they can be multiplied. And the result of x times y, the size of this guy changes. It turns into the outer dimensions. 2 by 1 will be the result. 2 by 1 is going to be the same, the size of this. Um, these have to match, and if those match, this you can multiply them, and the outer dimensions are what it, the size is. So, in general, what if I have um, some matrix, let me call it M and N. Let's say we have M, which is um, M by N, and then N, which is N by M. Let's just suppose we had that. Can I multiply these together? Yeah, because those match. What will the size of M times N be? It will be the outer dimensions. M by N. Now, the easiest way to explain to you how this will, what will happen is to demonstrate it. So I'm just going to demonstrate multiplication. And so here it goes. This is not as easy as the addition. So... This is where students are like, oh, this is super easy. And it is super easy. But the multiplication is, if you haven't done it before, then it's a little bit just something new. So, let's see. On our sheet, we have um, 6. It says multiply A times B. A times B. All right, so number 6. So, the dimension of A is 2 by 2. And the dimension of B is 2 by 3. They're not the same size, but the inner dimensions match, so that's okay. And so I can multiply these together. So it's going to end up being a 2 by 3. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to write down A, 2, 1, negative 3, 0. I'm going to put B right beside it, 1, 5, 6, negative 2, 1, 4, Okay, and then I'm going to plan for the resulting matrix, A times B. The resulting matrix, A times B, will be a 2 by 3. 2 by 3. So 2 rows and 1, 2, 3 columns. Okay, this is my plan. Now, AB, I'm going to call it AB. This is in position 1, 1. AB, row 2, column 1. AB, row 1, column 2, A, B, row 2, column 2, A, B, row 1, column 3, A, B, row 2, column 3. This is my plan. I'm going to replace these with the numbers, but when you think about what position you're going for. So let's say I want to find A, B, row 1, column 1. 
I multiply row one of the first matrix times column one of the first matrix one, one, in order to get this. How this goes is you take A, B, row one, column one, is equal to two times one, row one, column one, plus, oops, sorry, two times one, sorry, two times one, plus negative three times five. I said two times one plus negative three times five. Row one times column one. So that's two times one is two plus negative 15 is a negative 13. This is a negative 13. Okay, let's go for row one, column two. A, B, row one, column two. Goes like this. I'm gonna multiply row one by column two. And so now this is equal to two times six plus negative three times negative two. Two times six is 12 plus six is an 18. 18 goes right here. Ready? Row one, column three means I multiply row one times column three. Okay, this goes like this. Two times one plus negative three times four. That is a two minus 12, which is negative 10. That's what goes here. Oh, negative 10. Oops. Let's do these. A, B, row two, column one is, okay, now I'm on row two. Down here on row two, I multiply it by column one. That's gonna be a one times a one plus one times a one plus a zero times a five. Zero times a five. That is one plus zero, which is one. That's what goes here. One. A, B, two, two. I'm gonna multiply row two by column two. So this becomes one times six plus zero times negative two, which is gonna be a six plus zero, which is gonna be a six. All right, last one for this matrix, A, B, row two, column three. Row two, column three. One times one plus zero times four is a one plus zero is a one. One. So that is multiplication of matrix. So I'm gonna stop this and do, I'm gonna break this into two videos. Um, I'm going to end this one here, and the rest will finish up this worksheet. We'll do some more multiplication and learn determinants.